project. So thanks and welcome to my talk about Garrett code review and its usage in um, the Type 3 project. So what can you expect from this talk? Um, the major uh, time I will be talking about Garrett itself and it's a web-based code review tool and it's a Git server. And the second part is um, about Garrett in Type 3 and we have an experience um, coming from the last two and a half years there. Um, just about myself, I am neither affili affiliated with Google nor am I um, a Garrett developer. I have some four tiny, only four tiny patches um, getting in there, but I'm not really involved in this project, so we're just the users. Um, I'm, I used to be a Type 3 CMS core team member until like a month ago, and when I finally decided to f focus more on the infrastructure things, and during my work, I'm a PhD student in communication networks in Würzburg, in the center of Germany. I'm happy to hear from you. Um, here's my contact, stefan.gebert at typos3.org or stgebert on Twitter. Due to the time constraints, um, we might not have time for questions, but yeah, just come and ask afterwards. The slides are already on SlideShare and I really added a lot of comments to explain um, things. So you can go to slideshare.net slash Stephen King and download them. So the motivation for code reviews, why do obviously so many people care for um, reviewing code? So I have a question. Who writes the perfect code? Ah, <laughs> okay, a, only a couple of us. I think the majority, um, yeah, sometimes fails and doesn't know all the best practices of um, programming. So it's it's just good to review the work of yourself and of others. Let it be um, official yeah, com committers and team members or let it be just any contributor. So an example policy would be that every change, which is not at least trivial, um, has to be reviewed by at least two other people. And Garrett allows you to enforce such policies, just to mention. So the thing is that you just keep bad code away out of, of your repository. No, we will fix this later. And that you just learn from others' skills. So how does Garrett code review look like. So um, you can just o use it in your browser. It's a web-based tool that's just the list of open issues here for Garrett itself. Um, and one line here refers to one commit that is currently under review. And you see who's the owner, in which project, in which branch, and you see the votings, positive or negative. And when you zoom into one single change, you see, yeah, some metadata, for example, the commit message over there, um, which is just a git commit message. You can see metadata for which branch and um, you can define topics and also whether it's, you can see if it's under review or it's already merged. And yeah, the interesting thing is that you see here all the reviews. You say, you see Martin Fick has voted negatively and the other guy has, has voted positive on this one change. Scrolling down a bit leads you um, to some details. You see here different patch set revisions. So that was the first try. Somebody said it's not okay, please fix this and that. And some, the other or somebody else just came here and um, uploaded a new version. And finally there's version three. You see, the, um, you see here the, all the patch set history and that's the current patch set. Um, some more details about this change is which files are changed and how much they have been changed. Um, you can o directly open a diff view in your browser and really say, see the changes introduced by um, this patch. And the nice thing is um, you just copy that one line into your shell and it will automatically fetch all these um, changes from Garrett and apply it to your ro uh, local working tree. So you can directly start testing or building it if you have something that needs to be built. Other than that, you can just add your own review. You, so you can comment and vote on this particular change. So just to show you the diff view, you can switch between side by side and unify diff. And you see here that um, 
for this line, there's a comment that says this type is very wrong, and then Edwin replied, okay, I fixed that, and so on. That's pretty nice and really helps just to improve um, yeah, your code before it gets merged. So to have a short overview, how the workflow of yeah, a Garrett review works, it's um, the author of a patch pushes it to Garrett. This happens through git push and then you have to apply some arguments which are always to which remote then you want to you should push head ref and the head um, pointer and you want to push to refs four and then the target branch which is master or somebody uh, some released branch already so this refs four is the garret magic which ends up then in the review process when you push to there so after that um, garret just create such a new change, so a new line appears in the overview screen and Garrett notifies the reviewer so people can subscribe to the project and get an email that somebody uploaded a new change. And then you can have um, your custom voting categories. So by default there are two. One is the code review. So you s look at the code and say that's good or that's bad. And one is the verified category where you really test the code. You can also just add additional voting categories. And in the end you say, okay, that's good or that's bad. And you can give comments or you can just vote. And once there are enough votes collected, um, you are either able to submit it really into the repository um, or you can throw it away or so throw it away totally, which is abandoned or yeah, the other or anybody else can just improve that code. And that works by just to, uh, yeah, amending the commit, so reworking it and then just uploading a new version then and everything starts from um, top again. So Garrett is not only a web in has not only a web interface, but it's also a nearly full-featured Git server. And it's written in Java based on JGit, um, which is a Git implementation in Java. It supports smart HTTP and um, SSH access, not the native Git protocol, but usually you don't need it or you just replicate um, your repositories to another Git server that's pretty common and not very complex. It has a uh, GitWeb integration as a repository browser, and also there's GitBlit integration, which I tried it some time ago. It did not work so perfectly, but it's nearly finished, I would say. So there are people out there which are using it already. And that's a yeah, even nicer and uh, faster repository browser. Um, a very nice thing about Garrett is that it has really, really fine-grained access control permissions. So basically everything you can imagine. You can say these people are allowed to push into that branch um, with review or, on, or without review. Um, then you can allow merge commits or disallow them and you can allow text by some groups or disallow some groups, such things. So just read the docs, <laughs> there's tons of permissions you can set. So an example um, which we almost um, have in our project is that everybody can just come and clone the repository, so get the code just as you, you are used to it from GitHub or any Git server. And everybody can just, without any login, uh, click through all the changes. So you can go to review.typos3.org and look at our changes. So when I'm a registered user in an organization, um, I can suggest changes for review and then some team member has to include it um, or not. And in the web UI, I can also um, in this example permissions, I can also um, yeah, comment and vote on permission, uh, vote on changes. As a team member, I have some enhanced voting. So usually you, you don't want that two people come here and just put, uh, get something successful into your code. So you want usually at least one team member to have a look. And that would be a possibility um, yeah, that you enforce by a plus two vote. And yeah, actually the magic thing is a submit button, which as soon as you have enough positive votes appears and then one can hit that button and it really gets merged into the repository. As long as you don't have enough positive votes, nobody in the team can really submit that. Um, and also you could say that only team leaders can create branches and tags and they can also throw away change requests from people that 
just suggested something which doesn't make sense and you can say, okay, why should we keep that open? Just throw the change away and that is an extra permission. So that's a basic, uh, that's the um, yeah, permission setting for a review workflow. When you say, I have some projects which don't uh, want such a complex review workflow, you could just say that every team member is directly allowed to push, so can use Git just as a normal Git, uh, Garrett just as a normal Git server, which is totally fine. <coughs> some more things about Garrett. Um, there's a Mylan connector for Eclipse. I never, I just tried it two weeks ago. I wasn't able to log in um, into our Garrett, but it looks pretty neat. You can um, download all the changes uh, from Garrett directly in Eclipse. You can vote on changes. So if you're using Eclipse for your usual workflow, um, and want to use Garrett, that's, uh, I think, a really goodie for you. <coughs> um, the authentication of Garrett, by default, there's no own um, yeah, user management. You always have to connect to something external, which is OpenID, LDAP, um, or Apache external auth. So we are basically um, authentication against our typosweet.org user base, which yeah, has some PHP um, connector. Um, so patches for custom authentication, so to be more flexible, are currently pending in Garrett. I don't know, probably this year we can expect even more flexibility into this direction. Um, I talked a bit about enforcement of yeah, enough positive votes, or the votes which are required to be able to sum submit a change. Um, there's a prolog rule engine in which you can define also on a per branch basis what, how many reviews, etc., cetera, um, are needed. And um, the development, it was, um, it, it, Garrett was um, invented or developed by Google for Android source code review. So that's uh, the reason why it was introduced. And so still the development is led by Google stuff, um, but there are in the meantime also contributors from, uh, committers from, Goog from SHP and Sony Mobile. So it's not a Google only show, so it's really um, a stabilized development. And Typos Re isn't the only project which is using Garrett, um, other open source projects. Uh, of course, Android, Garrett itself is using its own dog food. Eclipse switched to Garrett um, not so long ago. LibreOffice, OpenStack, and also the guys from Wikimedia, which are also here. And I talked to, are using yeah, Garrett in a big scale. Commercial, uh, only some, ex some, of course, all the Android companies and eBay and Red Hat, whatever. So it's it's not a tiny project that only three people in the world use. But we in Garrett also, I mean, Typos <laughs> Re also use it. And so just a few words. What's Typos Re? Typos Re CMS is the project for which the Typos Re community is mostly known for. It has a pretty long development history and yeah, it's developed since almost 15 years. It's PHP based. And the community um, yeah, invented also some more new pro products in the recent years. One is Typos Reflow. It's a really cool PHP framework. There's a talk, or there was a talk by Robert Lemke yesterday, um, the chief architect of Flow. And you can probably watch it online in a couple of days. And there's also Typos Reneos in the making, which is the uh, content management system based on Typos Reflow. Typos Re is developed. Um, uh, the development is steered through the core teams, which are, yeah, depending on the product, between 10 and 25 people. And we use the mailing list for reviews since 2005. And the patches were sent via email, and plus one and minus one were collected there. And you had somehow to count uh, how many plus one there were and to which patch set, and should this one still count or not. Um, but there wasn't really some um, alternative for us, and big changes were a pain in the ass. So compare two patches um, that were, yeah, between them there was something improved that was nearly impossible, and Garrett makes it totally easy. You can, you can uh, compare different patch set versions in the UI. So you see if the other changed the things um, you commented on, or if you introduced some other weird stuff. But what I want to say is that reviews are not new for Typo 3, so we are um, pretty used to it. Um, nevertheless, we um, replaced um, all these mailing list reviews with Git and Garrett some time ago. 
So the Garrett installation at Typo3, I already said, um, you can just go to review.typo3.org and see um, the list of open changes there. Typo3 Flow is yeah kind of a bit ahead always. They started in August of 2010, and Typo3 CMS, the yeah, major product, <coughs> um, is uh, yeah started almost two years ago. And in SVN times, we had a uh, bit more than 10,000 commits, and since then, in the last two, uh, not even two years, we had already 4,300 commits via Git, so that really speeds up development because it makes it all the development less co um, complex. Some more statistics I just looked up. Um, currently, we have 190 uh, projects, um, and we have like 70,000 changes and 400 people um, are, were commenting on issues, 290 uploaders, and yeah, in the meantime, the biggest change with 39 cycles has been merged this way, uh, this week, so one change, nine, uh, 39 different patch set versions um, has been merged, that's the thing which um, yeah, costed probably the most efforts um, in the history of using Garrett, but it's all the whole cycle of improving the code and making a new patch set um, yeah, f is really easy to handle with Garrett. That's a nice tool. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I'm really running out of time. Um, there are hooks available. You can update your issue tracker. Uh, you can trigger documentation rendering. You can have Travis connected. If you're interested, um, there are a couple of comments in the slides. Just go to slideshare.net slash Stephen King and you can um, see them and would be nice seeing you, you as Garrett user. Thanks for your time.